Jake Holloway cherished three things in life, his family, dogs, and cars. So when he noticed a silver Jeep frequently parked at his local Walmart and Target in Altoona, Iowa, it piqued his interest. The Jeep's consistent presence at either store made Jake uneasy. It never seemed to venture far. Whenever he spotted the Jeep, the same questions raced through his mind. Who drove it? What were they always doing here? And of course, nice ride. Once inside the store though, the Jeep was quickly forgotten until the next shopping trip. Was he the only one who noticed its peculiar pattern? Weeks passed before Jake's curiosity reached its peak and it took one final nudge to push him over the edge. A sticker on the back bumper of the Jeep caught his eye, prompting him to investigate further. On an ordinary day, the Jeep parked unusually close to his own vehicle, allowing Jake to see what had eluded him before. Prominently displayed for all to see was an I served decal from Iraq. Unable to resist any longer, Jake felt compelled to uncover the story behind this Jeep's frequent visits to Walmart. He parked his car, determined to find out more. Without giving himself time to reconsider, he swiftly excited his Toyota, letting the door slam shut behind him. Closing the short distance to the Jeep, he paused outside, the sunlight reflecting off the windows making it difficult to discern if anyone was inside. Raising his hand, he rapped firmly on the window before stepping back. The driver's door swung open, revealing the presumed owner peering back at Jake. Initiating the conversation with some car enthusiast banter, Jake complimented the owner on his vehicle and introduced himself. What unfolded next exceeded Jake's expectations regarding the silver Jeep. The man named Nick had a story to share. As suspected, he was a veteran returning from multiple tours. But the narrative took a darker turn. Nick had returned from his final deployment to find his wife leaving him leaving him with no place to stay and depleted finances. Forced to sleep in his car and scrounge for his dog's food, Nick had been enduring this hardship until Jake's unexpected visit. Moved by Nick's plight, Jake couldn't simply walk away. After bidding farewell, Jake returned home and immediately turned. He not only shared his encounter with a veteran but also Nick's struggles, appealing to the community for assistance. I often see posts about helping others during the holidays. Here's my plea. I crossed paths with a veteran in need. I don't know him well, but there's been a silver Jeep Wrangler parked at the Altoona Walmart and Target for weeks. Let's come together to make a difference. Today, I finally gathered the courage to approach the Jeep that always seems to be around. I noticed an I served Eric sticker on the back window, which prompted me to stop. I complimented the owner on his Jeep, and he liked my Toyota, Jake's began, recounting his encounter with Nick. He introduced himself as Nick and shared that after returning from overseas, his wife had left him, leaving him with only his Jeep and his dog. He's in a tough spot financially, having recently started a job at the Department of Transportation but hasn't received a paycheck yet. Nick mentioned that he's had to sell off parts of his Jeep just to get by. Jake continued, portraying the stark reality of Nick's situation. He's in a tough spot financially, having recently started a job at the Department of Transportation but hasn't received a paycheck yet. Nick mentioned that he's had to sell off parts of his Jeep just to get by. Jake continued, portraying the stark reality of Nick's situation. It was heartbreaking. If you're inclined to act out of pure kindness, please, Jake pleaded urging others to help. If you happen to see him, do something kind for him or his loyal boxer dog. Whether it's a few dollars, a gift, or some dog food, any gesture would mean the world. It's devastating to see a soldier in such circumstances. Jake's quickly spread throughout Altoona, and upon learning of Nick's plight, a small army of people stepped up to assist. The story resonated deeply with everyone, and the community responded in a remarkable way. In just a few hours, tangible acts of kindness began to unfold. People flocked to Nick's Jeep, offering whatever they could, money, gift cards, and even dog food for his faithful companion. The most significant gesture was a week's long, fully paid stay at a hotel for Nick and his dog. 
Now Nick has a warm place to stay, and his best friend is well cared for.